Hello and welcome to the uh, 2024 CCS uh, race at Old Spice. This is race four so far this season. Uh, Daniel Pauls Jr. starting on the pole. Track house number two, Verizon Chevrolet. Uh, last week's race was at Rockingham. That race was won by Bird. Mr. Master, uh, Master Classfield, he's also our points leader now, so no surprise. He's got Wick Rare Racing. Her first win and only their second, or not, not second, third cup race. So, very interesting stats there already for that team. And Toyota's first win since Bird, I mean, ironically, in 2022. Um, uh, when Toyota didn't really leave, per se, but no one wanted to run Toyota. So, Toyota has a turn, and so is Bird, uh, as his crew propels forward. They, uh, not starting so up front today, but still hold, looking to uphold that points lead, even though it is only race four. We'll see how that holds up for sure. Uh, I got Dark x in the booth with us today. Uh, Dark, you got any first thoughts for this? Four races in, and Chaitas has been one of the strongest manufacturers so far. Yeah, we had a Chevrolet win the Jazz 500. Or no, Chevrolet won at Pocono. Uh, pardon me on that. Jazz 500 was also won by Chevrolet. And then last week had Toyota. Let's see if Chevrolet or maybe another manufacturer can come out on top today. So, yep. But Sean Arden won at Jazz 500. I haven't actually seen much of him since that race. And uh, Jet 64 making his first start since the Pocono race here today. Uh, I don't. Well, I'm not starting as up front as he was, but uh, he could try and defend that. Um, be a defending winner for himself, self stats. Be an interesting thing to see if he can do that. And uh, start right in front of uh, the Jazz 500 winner, unironically. So, pass three winners, not really starting up front. So, with that in mind, probably won't see a repeat winner. But it's a long race, it's 30 laps. I guess you could call it a wrong, long race, not really long per se. Lap times are around 45 seconds or so on pace. So. Pen and paper, uh, we'll, there'll be no re green flag stops. Let me know if that's the way, if this is like a 70 lap race, because like 64 laps on gas, so I uh, don't really expect much of those. Uh, single file starts, if we have any cautions, due uh, to the controversy we had last season, Pox Cozart, I think, in the Smoths race, I don't expect uh, to be any better in Cup, so just an issue with the track that uh, I don't think is avoidable at this point, and let's uh, roll with that. Also, Sills Wilmot, our other part-time driver in this event of the two that are rotating. Go to the command here in just a couple seconds. Drivers, start your engines! Forty-two cars rolling off the grid today, as as the past two weeks or past three weeks rather. And we're about to go rolling once again here. Two Chevys claim the front row. We're going to Ford to Dodge in row two. And we're highest running Toyota is Frank Chilton with Wood Brothers Racing. They're going to enjoy the top five for five different teams. Five different teams in the top five. And uh, all four manufacturers represented. Those places running for the little courses. Oh, big car in the wall off of the already, already a car in the wall. Ethel Mourner in the 27. Uh, we'll take a look at that once uh, we get some green flag racing going. Let's go ahead and go to our leaders. Looks like uh, Dark X Rain versus Daniel Pauls Jr. right now. And ooh, it's tight there. Battle is heating up right now for the lead. And Dark X Rain is going to clear Daniel Paulus Jr. for the lead. Just to make sure this first lap, no one's done and out. Keep another check at 27. We know they got involved in that first uh, on the accident, really at the beginning of the race. Uh, it looks like they're already going to pit road. Maybe get some repairs fixed or something, because that, that definitely uh, put a huge dent in their run. I think Jessica is the last running car other than Lethal Mourner. That would be, uh, yeah, I'd be correct. Is they're going through right right now. Patrick Miller here in the back. But from what I understand, yeah, yeah, Dark X Rain still holding the lead lap, uh, lead lap one. 
currently up to. Uh, yes, yeah, Jonah Burge in second and third right now. So interesting thing. Yeah. Looks like he got a little bit of front end damage. Or, yeah, he's got some front end damage, some rear end damage as well. Uh, maybe he got stacked up on that restart. So it'll be interesting to watch in that 07 car. See if he's able to run as well throughout this race. That damage might be something to watch for sure. If you're going to dive underneath that too. But let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what happened to that 27 on lap one. Looks like he's still in pit road getting repairs. Let's go ahead and go to helicopter because I don't think we're going to get an idea from any of the TV cams. We on the oh. side of the race. Yep, got moved oh, out the way. Oh, he got dumped by. Yeah, German Chick 81. Uh, he was in the top top five, yeah. top ten right there, and uh, German Chick. Uh, uh, maybe he checked up or something, but uh, and he's back on the track now. A couple laps down, probably. A little scoring loops back, but yeah, that's some dec decent hit there. Decided to pit for it. I don't think it's the right call, so but at least we'll have to see the end of the race, probably. But yeah, back to the leader. To to Looking for win number four. Yeah, back is. Yeah, win number four. Yeah, went, back to, yeah, went back to back in 2022, won uh, Iowa and Texas World. Last season won Indianapolis, if my memory serves me correct. There might yep. have been some other track. And currently looking for Definitely. career win number four. Let's see if I can get that today. Yeah, number four, I believe, this is the third or fourth year in this series as well. Yep. 2021 was debut. Yep. As as was a lot of these guys. Daniel Pauls Jr., his debut was in 2021. Almost didn't get a win in his first season. Won the last races of uh, 2021 and 2022. Had a, I think I think he won a couple races that year. I could be wrong. And 2020, last year, I, I don't remember, to be honest, very well. I think he was in the, uh, what car was he in? He was in 2022 as well. I think he won two, he oh wait, he won uh, three races in 2022. Yeah, he had a really good season that year, 2022. He won three races, and then last year, I'm trying to remember what team he was on. I know it wasn't Trackhouse. It looks like the 07 is about to get passed yeah. by the 71 with that damage. Check our chat, make sure everyone's good. Fuel racing. Did they still exist back then? Uh, I think it was. Uh, as I know, it wasn't McFadden racing. He left McFadden when McFadden itself left. And uh, I'm still trying to think. It's like right on the tip of my tongue. Who, who, what team he was on last year? I don't think he was driving the 27 last year either, was he? No, he was with Wood Brother. He was with Wood Brothers in the 22, and I think he did end up getting one win last season at Michigan. Yeah, he won at Michigan with that in that fuel miles race. Yeah, that's right. He actually might have got two wins, so I think he's got so three seven. Um, well, it looks like oh, the 24, the leader, has a blown engine. Blown engine. See if he can stay out of everyone's way here. That is catastrophic. Let the first six laps and has blown the engine. And that's, he's stopped on the track. That's going to be a yellow. What do you want it? Big, big problems with the 24. That, that, that's terrible. And it looked like uh, the 18 of Gunther has also kind of hit road with issues as well. Uh, may have gotten damaged somewhere. I'll have to take a look at that, see what happened to him. Maybe he also got damaged or heard. That may have been something a, else. That may have been a yellow as well with the 18, because uh, he had some damage on the side, or maybe he had pit for something else. But regardless, the caution is out now. Yeah, something he was slow. Oh yeah, he's in the wall over here. Oh yep. Would have been a. Yep, got together with Vince Freeze, and they both went up the track. Vince able to save it. Gunther, not see the wall. So it, it probably had some in, damage on that front end. Didn't want to risk staying out with it. Decided to pit, but regardless, caution is out. Free pass does go to the 18. Again, he is our lucky dog. Man, that's a tough break there. <laughs> that is a tough break. A blown engine while leading for, I think, what seven or eight laps? Yeah, six laps. Or might have almost seven, and two took the lead. So, yeah, it's bad place, bad time, and 
Yeah. But, uh, yep, 18 is going to get the wave around, I believe. He is eligible. Yeah. Get the first one to lap down. Yeah, that, eight, that, caution, that caution was timed very well for the 18 of Gunther. So he's going to get the wave around here. We're not going green for that reason. He should be able to get around everybody pretty smoothly here. Yeah, he's going to do that. So that really reorganizes our top 10. Now, keep in mind now, uh, single file restarts at this track because of issues with, you know, restart violations. So I'm also going to go ahead and pause the game and turn on our overtimes in case we need them. Doubt we will, but better safe than sorry. It's the 81. I'm not sure what they're doing here. And it looks like they're just some of these cars are getting stacked up here, just trying to get in line, not cause a wreck or any damage. I was know some of these guys do have some damage. Oh, the 27 retired. Uh, it looks like yeah, 27 did retire. It looks like that damage from the beginning of the race is finally what what took him out. Yep, well, they finally. Oh, what happened here? I think he had. Let me. Did he get more damage? Oh yeah, he had. He plowed into the field. <laughs> oh, this is coming to the yellow, I think. Yeah, he plowed into the field. Um. Well, we know how we were talking about drivers not paying attention in Smos. Uh. This would be another prime example. I mean, granted, he was the next car to get a lucky dog, and. I mean, he did slow down, so he didn't arc a break. He just didn't slow down in time. Yeah, and that pretty much ended his race right there. Uh, yeah. Just didn't have enough to slow down in time. I just didn't pay any attention, so unfortunately, his, his day is done. Uh, we won't be green, green oh. this time, but next time by. Or, actually, is the pace car already in? We may be going. We're going green this time. All right. <laughs> All right, check going green this so time by. <laughs> yep, so, two cars out of the race 27 24. Everyone's on the lead lap now with the 18. Oh, two car is not going. Bad start for the two. 07 tries to take advantage, but stacks up the field huge. Oh, 28, Vince Freeze barely holding on to it there. That was interesting. Jonah Burridge, I know we talk about it every time he's up front, but uh, he has no wins in CCS, and he's been doing every single race. Since 2021, just like uh, a lot of these guys, Daniel Paulus, Dark X Rain, been in here since 2021. Now, granted, you see Bobby Isaac there in third. Doesn't have a win yet either, but he's only his second season. I know you see the rookie stripes, but he is not a rookie. It's his second season. I think he was in Wood Brothers Racing last year, but I don't know what team is he on now. Uh, yeah, he was on Wood Brothers Racing in 2022. And the number 122, or no, 121. And it looks like uh, Sean Ard uh, has went to pit road along with uh, the six of Bradley Ream. And it looks like David Don has entered broadcast, slap 10 out of 30. He missed a lot. Like Bradley Ream went to pit road. So yeah, Bradley, oh, Bradley Ream and the... Uh, the 67 of Sean Ard came out of pit road. It's just yeah. oh, Sean Ard did get rear-ended after all. Well, that's after actually Bradley Ring. Yeah, because it looks like they have damage. Is that an Uno sponsored yeah. car? Yes. Yeah, what? that is a um. Question is whatever. I what happened to Sean? <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure because like at this point, nothing has happened to Sean Ard. At all, and neither Bradley Ream. I, I didn't really see anything briefly looking for the replay either, but they did go to pit road regardless of that. And it wasn't a restart violation because it was a lap after the restart had happened, I think. Uh, David, I don't know if you know, but Dark X Rain was leading. Yeah, he just went to pit road. Might have got some kind of mechanical issues. Okay. Yeah, we've had a lot of mechanical late. issues, so. It was a piston issue. Yep. Ah, from the lead. I don't know, man. It sounds like it was a talent issue. Could have been. 
a talent issue with the piston, huh? Oh, it looks like the huh? ten they ran out of oil, I guess. Oh, it looks like some more cars kind of pit road with issues. Oh, that's Reg definitely Reggie, wild. Who's Reggie Fogelman? That is... He's... Uh, okay. My guess is some of these guys are getting... Topping off on fuel or something? I, I really don't know. There's no reason for them to pit. There's enough time to race. They're not getting penalties because these are... Random... Randomized times are coming to the pit road. Really so don't know no, what to no, say. No, no answer. By reliability? At this rate. Yeah, there, there, a lot of things could be factoring hmm. into these uh, issues with these cars. I don't really know. Let's take a look at our leader, uh, Daniel Paulus. I don't know if this race has been better than Smos Pokemon, though. No. I, I would argue so far so good. 14 laps in, 30 laps, Old Spice. Pocono was pretty good. We already had a... Well, yeah, Pocono. The race wasn't good, but the commentary was interesting. Dang, that race was a wreck fest, but the commentary was gold. Yeah. Regardless, though, um, we've already had one yell, and that was for the 24 stopping on the track from the lead with a piston failure, and also yeah, the... Top ten. It happens. Yep. Okay, but seriously, who's who's this dude? This is Daniel Paulus Jr. No, not him. He's he's one of the team owners. Oh, uh, and the guy standing here menacingly in the booth. Ain't said him. Oh well. I mean, he's Reggie. Who's Reggie? He's literally one of the team owners. I didn't know. <clears throat> Hello, Senior Reggie. Oh well, yeah. I don't think he likes me. <laughs> anyway. Actually, just so y'all know, Paulus is born for three wins today. He already won two earlier. Dang, that's this interesting. Be interesting. Be an interesting stat to say. You stated it yourself, so <laughs> be an interesting stat to note. Might be from another series. Yeah. Uh, did, uh, so we got one win last season, one win in 20. So he's got five. This will be a sixth or seventh win here in the CCS if I'm doing math right. It's if he based holds on memory. On. That's if he holds on. Uh, yeah, we're, we're halfway just that last time by. So Don't call out the dogs and put up the fire yet. Yeah, that's 100% sure. We just passed halfway after all. So. Just 30 laps, not very long, especially for Old Spice when you got 46 second lap times. But. Every time I've seen this track ran, the package sucks. Yeah, I would agree. There's like no passing. Yeah. I don't, I don't really think I've found anything successful for that matter. Like, even there if, like, the aggression is at 110% the right now. Okay, right. I mean, there's some cars in the back of damage, but give or take, some of them are doing something. Yeah, right, no, cool. How much more money do I have to pay to win a race? Uh, well, you could finish second, so you gotta pay the Inner Southern Three Gods to to give you some hope. Because I ain't the guy. Just this the 71 guy car is looking good. pretty antsy for P3 <clears throat> right now. Oh, he's gonna make a move right here. That is the wrong car. That is Do also the wrong car. Oh. There he goes. He's gonna try to make there a move. He's at six, the, the zero seven is gonna get, get, get that run on the, the top. Yeah, he's at Bobby Isaac for second. Ah, he's got that hey, run of the 07. Was... Arrow damage on the 07 from just plain damn. Oh! Oh, he slides oh, into him! He oh, turned so... him! That is They're a caution! They're off the track. They're off the track, though. Wow. Don't throw it. They're off the track. All right. All right. As long as they don't who's hit a, anybody. Who's the aggressor? Bobby Isaac or Jonah Bridge? I don't know. Uh, they, they have avoided the field. That was aggressive. We're good. They already an were easy the top track. five. An easy top three for the top three has been choked. Barney Thresher the third, who won three, four races last season, has assumed, or I thought assumed second, but I guess he had to slow up for that wreck. So I think it's the 15 of Sills Wilmot, and Frank Chilton yeah, is second and third. Out. And uh, Thresher might actually lose another spot. He might, but still in the top five, both those cars. So Sills Wilmot and oh, 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 there we go. He's gonna. Oh, Silas gets no, wide. Oh, uh, we might see another incident here. Silas Wilmot versus Frank Chilton. Well, Frank actually kind of saves it. As you see the skid marks of where they uh, went off track there. Yeah, that was Vince Furries and Gunther on lap uh, three, I think. That caution, or that 
did that. That was interesting. But yeah, the seventy-one. Uh, you seen it live? Seventy-one in the uh, zero seven got together and unfortunately cost them both a top five, a top three. They're both wow, very well, good cars. Yeah, what do we Jonah think there? got Zach, some damage. Zach, what are you thinking here? Maybe take a look back, see who's at fault. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the roof. Or actually, let's go helicopter here on these guys. Yeah, that's like, under the arch bridge. Yeah. Oh. Look, that's hard to oh, judge. Oh, he just and got I loose. Think, I think the 07 went to, went to the inside too much. Yeah, I would agree on that. He, he's obviously he went inside, not happy. But also, Bobby got Isaac got loose. Yeah, not, I'm not happy with that. Uh, 07, 71, um, no, by no stretch. Isaac, so. Isaac, Isaac didn't really lose lose uh, moves though. He kept his lane. Yeah, but regardless, got that the cost. Most of it, he's, he's, he's badly damaged. Yeah, regardless, that cost him a very good finish. What could have been. Uh, Thank Daniel you, Paul. Still in the yellow. They were off the track. Yeah, I was, I was gonna, and then yeah, I thought about it, and you, you, you kind of moved my hand there. I, I definitely shouldn't have even considered it because in this league I think the rule is has to be like stopping cars on the track for a flip to be like that but yeah that was a pretty hard wreck there and that second turn but Frank chill uh, the, the it, two has a very big lead you're more gap though yeah uh, uh, I feel like that might have saved the two's help right there oh yeah he's got a big gap I mean, draft is the thing this 10 laps to go it's gonna be hard to judge on uh, who has enough time here at the end why not yeah. the draft? Think it's too much of a gap. Yeah, that's a very good point. And, uh, Let's uh, keep an update on those two who was involved in the wreck. See if they happen in DNF or what. Yeah, so far so good. They're still in it, and just a few a uh, few seconds back. Dang. However, we did have some cars that had to pit early in the run. Not sure why, but the 10, 67, and six. Um, I don't know if they're losing a lot of time or not, but they might catch up. Eh, hard to judge. Severely damaged, I, meant, I meant to the damaged cars. Maybe. I don't Did think they take cars or just fuel. I'm not sure. I think they got enough fuel to make it to the end. Well, I'm just saying, because, you know, it's a road course, tires are a big factor. Yeah, that's true. If anything, uh, if they did take tires, then they would be at an advantage. But, like I said, I think draft matters a little bit of this track since it's such a small track, but. Obviously, if the two car able to pull away as well as he is right now, it's not as big as it would be. And the gap is shrinking a little bit, I will give it that. So, not not over yet. I think David said it best, especially before that 17 and the... Or not 17, but 71 and 07 got together. I do know they had some beef from last year, just mainly because they had similar color paint schemes. But I'm pretty sure that beef is even more amplified after that after the uh, accident. Did they, did they actually have beef because of some I think I almost called Mr. Raw Pay well, Frank Cassandra. I mean, not beef per se, but there's a little bit of irritation there. Hey. <laughs> Dumb. But, uh, I don't know, we might have an intense rivalry brewing. Perhaps. We'll take a look at it. See if that gap shrinked any. Uh, it uh, has shrinked quite a bit, actually. Frank? He is gaining. The problem is, can he pass the gap? Shrunk. Yeah, yep, it shrinks from point ninety from point ninety two to point sixty six over a lap. Listen, catching them is one story. Passing is a different. One hundred percent. He daily has to speed. Yeah, Frank Chilton looked for his. Uh, I believe this would be his first podium in in the Cup Series. He did run part time last year. Don't jinx him. Touche, but um, it's like Nico Hulkenberg. Okay. Well, I mean, I mean we're talking about the driver. I mean, what's the point of commentary if we're not going to talk about the racing? Well, <laughs> Jake Jinx is and... looking for his first podium. All right, all right. so <clears throat> I'll, I'll give you this. So his nickname, nickname, Mr. Raw Pace, got that from Vince Freeze in the Sox back when Sox was an offline, uh, off-season experience here in here in uh, this little community we have. So. It's still an experience, all Also right. two years ago <laughs> as well. Yes, so he got that little nickname because he was raw pace. He had raw pace race to race. He was fast every race. Do I have to come up with nicknames for people? I mean, seriously, what is the... We have some <laughs> We have some nicknames in here, not very many. Uh, this would be yeah, uh, Mr. Very... Raw Pace Frank Chilton. He's got raw pace. He's proved it time and time again. Every once in a while he might slutch and miss out some. You know, that happens. 
but I think he's earned a couple of nicknames for drivers. I think he's earned Mr. Raw pace. Yeah, like the guy who finished last, his nickname is Captain Slow. Ah, uh, I can't really. I mean, that's a little. I mean, you mean uh, that's a little messed up. The <laughs> <laughs> that's that's something. That's something. I'll say that. Yeah, I'm in the one with the piston issue. Yeah, we're five laps to go, by the way, chat. Surprisingly, that's my first DNF due to a piston issue. From the lead, we'll mind you. From the lead. I mean, from the lead we move and the back first up. mechanical issue. Lap Can we move six. The leaderboard back up? Sorry? Can we move the leaderboard back up? There we go. Oh, the gap. The gap. It's closing, it's but working. I think David said it best. Working. David said it best. You can close that gap. Question is, can you do anything about it? They said that. <laughs> yeah, David did say that. That's what I was He's saying. He's definitely there. Question is, can he can he make a move? You got a without messing his yeah, lineup. He's break him. Yeah, he's or wrecking. He's also brought Silas Wilmot and uh, Barney Thresher with him. Oh, could you could you imagine that he goes for a move and both him and the leader get taken out? That'd be crazy. Yeah, that happened before, so I won't be surprised. Not on this track, it hasn't, but... You know, it's well, first time we for just everything. saw it for second and third. Yeah, that's true. Second and third. Not from the lead, but second and third. That is true. Yeah, he's there at this point. Dang, you believe it. He's pretty much there at this point. He's, he's gonna take... Pretty chaotic yeah, so far. It's gonna take, I think he's gonna take a run off that last corner trying to approach him here in this corner. As we've seen in successful guys, passes here. about it. But... Okay. Oh, he's he's there. Oh, he won. Oh, oh, he went on the. He's gonna try a different arc. Ooh, got tight. Not gonna work. He tried to win on the outside, but we at least we got a battle for third. Yeah, remind you guys. Remind me to bring you guys donuts if I ever come late. Yeah, I guess Dunkin' Donuts would do. Nah, uh, who said anything about Dunk? Funny enough. Dunkin' Donuts and their Krispy Kreme. The You'll get the cheap kind. The 18 was supposed to be a Dunkin' car, but I forgot to make it, so it was Burger King. Anyways, back to the lead. Two laps is good, chat. Speaking of Burger King, yeah. you tried to make a pass for a position. Actually, actually, isn't it the white flag? No, two laps is good. 29 on okay. No, not yet. Two laps to go on the four still. They are actually closing to the gap a bit more. Yeah, like you said, so I don't know if he's got enough time. I don't know if he's got enough time. He gets it on the outside. It's just the inside he's having a problem with. Just an... Oh, I think he You can't make the pass on the inside, but... <laughs> As he nearly lost second. That 15 is there, just in case any mistakes happen. Yeah, remember, he's one of the part-time guys. Did very well yeah, in the he's... Jazz 500. Was up front almost all race. Up front here. Oh, no, the wall sponsoring... He's sponsoring his own car. Yep. Yep, he is. Oh, that four is all this. I think that four got closer. Yeah. Black flag in the air, sponsored by... If you gotta do know. anything, gotta do it now. I, don't, I just Box don't think you got the distance. Um, like he gives them an inside corner here. Don't go to the outside. Don't go to the outside. Don't go to the outside. outside lane. Yeah, he may went outside. It's 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 Joe yeah. That's the only problem. Anyways, uh, he loses all his momentum. Despite the hopes and dreams by the 17 or not 17, 7107 and four car, I don't think they're gonna have enough. Daniel Paulus Jr. Third win. Has a win to show Third for every day. season he's ran. And it looks like that's going to keep consistent. Daniel Paulus Jr. Old Spice winner. So what miss the consistency there? Well, you almost had it. <laughs> Captain Consistency, however, uh, he's in Smos. But he was raw pace. Cars. Yeah, this is raw pace. Mr. Raw Pace, Frank Chilton. You got Captain Consistency in Smos. Driver's number nine, Kyle, Kyler Sustre. Uh, I am Captain Inconsistency. <laughs> we may hand that to you. Then Smoss next to Zevil the Devil. <laughs> yeah, he actually got eighth. Zevil did. Uh, two of the Wick Rare cars got in the top ten. 05 and the 55. Last week's winner, the other Wick Rare car, unfortunately, did not make the top ten. Uh, he got uh, 23rd, so that's pretty bad. Um, and as predicted, the 10, 6, 7, and 6 probably did get fresher tires. They finished about three seconds better than what they were 
prior to. Oh, whoa, 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 what? Who, the whoa, yeah, they didn't really who gain a lot. Who? Who drives the 13? The 15? 15? 15? Soul Swamont? He's, um. Didn't he, just, didn't he just join Smoss? No, he joined Smoss, uh, same time you did. So he's. Why is he already in the Cup series? He's got part time openings. He has a part time entry. Yeah. yeah. That's not fair. You can come in if you want. I don't know. I don't think I'm good enough, and I don't know after my comments during the Pocono race if, uh. Well, just let me know. Kyle Lar I'll show you Wait, how does, that mean, does that mean if I get a you cup ride, I got Kyle Larson in it? I probably bet. Sorry? If I get a, if I get a cup ride, can I have Kyle Larson in it? What does that even mean? You know, I'll say some stuff and then win the championship. That's crazy. Uh, I I'll mean, say that. that's you, crazy. You think I'm getting suspended for a whole year? I mean, it would be a redemption arc. You can't be Kyle Larson. We already got that guy right here. Okay. I mean, I mean he, 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 he ain't said none, but I mean, that, that is as Kyle Larson as it gets beside the centered numbers. The only driver to be uh, Kyle Larson is will be Texas. Does she even have a sponsor? Who, 77? Yeah, Joy. Joy Paint? Yeah. Look at her sponsor. Yeah. It's basically it's, Joy Paint owns a paint shop, just, I guess. It's just her. Yep. She has a little, she has a little window painting. Hey, but congratulations to Dale Post Jr., though, for winning at Old Spice. Yep. Nice. I guess we keep the therm on. I guess he wins. He gets free. Verizon? Well, I wasn't going to say degree, but it's Verizon. I uh, got uh, uh, Yeah, free. Uh, there's no free in Verizon. Don't go too well. I mean, I free know what, Wi-Fi I, I, service. I, no, I, I use Verizon. Free so. Wi-Fi service. No. no. I, I use Verizon. It's okay in my area. So These companies are too cheap skates to give you free anything. Um, well, let's just say you get a 30-day free premium access or something. Yeah, right. Oh. <laughs> we in the CCS, we do not affiliate directly with Verizon. Uh, I that, am running my... away sponsors from me. <laughs> yeah, you you you're gonna get us like, oh, we don't want our stuff to look. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm sponsored you by really Rusty. Got a sponsor? Are you sponsored by Rusty's? Rusty's I'm yeah, on your, uh... it's not even a real sponsor. <laughs> you, no, no, it is a real sponsor. You know it's, why? Because it's I real say spin whatever for tools. I want. I say whatever I want because with an insane amount of luck, you two can look like me. <laughs> Dang. We'll see you in Vegas, folks. I think that's the next race. All right. Peace out. See y'all later.